It's a beautiful, sunny Saturday here in West Central Georgia. Got the Chattahoochee River to my backside. What's going on, y'all? A Fizzle here on this Saturday, March 25th, 2023. Hope everyone's having a good Saturday. Hope everyone's weekend off to a good start. Mine is, you know, slept good, uh, showered up, got dressed, decided to come down here and enjoy the sunshine for a minute. You know, it looks like a lot of people out here today, you know, just enjoying the sunshine as well. You know, haven't really been getting a lot of that because, you know, it's, it has been raining every other weekend and the temperatures have been severely bipolar since February. You know, cool in the uh, early part of the week. I don't know. It's warm in the early part of the week. Rains mid to late week, there's free uh, cool on the weekend. So for like the first time in forever, we actually have to steady to, well, not really. It was actually, it was actually reverse this time. It was cool at the beginning of part of the week. And then it rained and now the temperatures are gone up. So, so reversal of fortune. But I'm not here to talk about the weather because I can make a whole story quick about that. Let's get on to the topic at hand. So as y'all know, Tracy Gardner Jr. decided to uh, join the Detroit Lions. He was released by the Philadelphia Eagles. I feel like he did some due diligence for the Eagles. So I'm sure they enjoyed this. For half a season due to the trade, and I was I was at Slitter's um, live stream. He was doing the World Baseball Classic, and a lot of Falcon fans were disappointed that he decided to sign with the Lions and not the Falcons. And I was wanting to let that slide, you know, just let him be upset about it. But what really done it for me and decided and, and inspired this video is when one Falcons fan said that. I don't know his name, I'm not gonna look it up, but he said that, oh, he joined the Lions because maybe he doesn't like winning. And I found that kind of disturbing. I found that kind of troubling. And I found that kind of funny coming from an Atlanta Falcons fan talking about anybody goes to another team over there. So I gotta get some new shakes. Any team over there is because so apparently they don't like winning. Now, granted, y'all did y'all fame this offseason. Y'all addressed some severe needs, and y'all went and got some got some um, key pieces. Hopefully, you could build a team like Bill Belichick did with the Patriots during the um, beginning of his Super Bowl run. But let's be real, like, what have the Falcons done? You know. He'd rather go to the Lions over the Falcons because he doesn't like winning? When, the, when, when have the Falcons been winners? See, that's the problem with, this is why I, I, I clown Atlanta sports fans, the all around Atlanta sports fans, because they get two national titles in football and they get a World Series title. And all of a sudden they, they, they over here at, at, on YouTube acting like they win every year. They, like, this is what they're accustomed to. Wake up, Atlanta Falcon fans. Your team is not a winner. You know, like I said, granted on the pickups, but it's not like they have won yet. We still got six months left before we can find out are they are they going to be winners or not. And I'm talking about regular season winners. Y'all talking as if they're going to win the Super Bowl. Don't forget who your quarterbacks are. You think Taylor Heineke, <laughs> a guy that flamed out me with the Redskins, and Desmond Ritter, who only played four games, y'all think that those guys are going to lead you to the Super Bowl? Yeah, I don't know what you're going to say. Well, uh, Trent Diffel led the Ravens to the Super Bowl. Here's the thing. Trent Diffel actually went to the NFC title game with the Buccaneers before joining the 2000 Ravens. Oh, Brad Johnson went to, uh, won the Super Bowl. Brad Johnson actually won a playoff game before, uh, with the Vikings before going to the Buccaneers. Desmond Ritter only played four fucking games. And Taylor Heineke... I don't know if he, if, yeah, he flamed out in the playoffs. So big, like, y'all saying that, like, these are household names. He's, Taylor Heineke is an average quarterback at best. You just gonna need him to be serviceable and a game manager if you ever gonna have a chance of when making the Super Bowl. But yeah, your team has five consecutive losing seasons. And y'all got the audacity, the nerve to get up here talking about, oh, somebody go somewhere else because they don't like winning. It's not like y'all winning, shit. I know Sports Live and ATL is probably gonna make a response video to this. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get your content out. I mean, we go ahead and get your uh, jazz out of the way, Slitter. Uh, Falcons beat the Broncos three straight times, sir. Okay, you still in? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you my jab. You still lead the head to head series, and so you win three more games and surpass the Broncos in the head to head series. The Broncos still on you. It don't matter what you did the last three seasons, the last three matchups. Your team is not good, y'all. The Falcons are not good. They're not. You know they. You know. And I'm going to keep saying that until they prove me otherwise. They got to prove it on the football field because even Slitter starting to wise up a little bit and realize, okay, the, all these moves uh, the Falcons are doing, they still have to win because if they don't win, then everything that's going down this offseason means nothing. And... and and Slitter, like I said, before you make your response video, because I know I got a feeling this coming, just remember, I want you to go on Twitter, read your comment section in your live streams, and see what these Atlanta Falcon fans be saying, and you're going to see exactly why I always laugh at your team. It has nothing to do with you. You think it has something to do with you. You're not the only Falcons fan I know or know of. I, they, these, your, your fellow fan mates give me this ammunition, ammunition to go after y'all. I don't just come out the woodwork and just diss the Falcons for no reason. Like, come on. But let's rest assured if the roles were reversed and Chelsea Gardner Jr. decides to go to, the, uh, want to go to the Falcons instead of Lions, I'm sure no Lions fan is going to get up here and be like, oh, uh, the reason why he went to the Falcons instead of the Lions is because he doesn't like winning. Because Lions fans know that their team is not – good either like and when i say your team's not good i'm not talking about your team you have now is not good i'm talking about overall your franchise i should say your franchise is not a really good franchise don't you got the, don't the Falcons got the fourth worst overall record of all time only, only the cardinals jackson Falcons have the worst record in the Falcons overall you have no super bowl titles they have two super bowl appearances and one of those times you was in the Super Bowl, you scored 28 points, and then you scored no more after the third quarter and lost that game. See, so, yeah, I wouldn't be getting up here. If I was a Falcons fan, I wouldn't be saying any team doesn't like winning when it comes, you know, you know when they go somewhere as, as opposed to the Falcons because, like I said, what have y'all done? You have done nothing in your franchise history that warrants that y'all, you know, that y'all deserve to, to have this big ego bravado all of a sudden. And now I'm at a standpoint, I'm at a crossroads because I'm at a because I feel like the way y'all talking, I'm about this close to saying that the way y'all talking, y'all better win the Super Bowl this season because if because if you do not, you know what's coming. You know exactly what's coming, and y'all not gonna like it. And I'm not the only one you got to worry about. There's pl there's plenty of other people who would laugh at y'all too. I'm just saying. Your franchise is encapsulated with losing and blowing multiple leads a hell of a lot. And this goes back to the 80s. It's not some shit that just started in 2010 and all that. Y'all been blowing leaves since before I was even born. So I uh, say, so y'all, I thought it's like y'all still can't get it right. I doubt you ever gonna get it right. I feel like I'm always, I'm, I'm gonna go in my grave being right about y'all never win the Super Bowl. So I don't see that happening in my lifetime. I just don't. Now you may win the NFC South. It is wide open, huh? Cause I. I don't know what the Buccaneers are going to do. You know, Kyle Trask, I guess he's going to start. But don't count them out. Just because Kyle Trask is a starting quarterback and not Tom Brady don't mean that, oh, they're not going to win the division. I'm not saying they will, but I'm not going to say they're going to suck either. Because we don't know if they're going to suck or not. Panthers, we don't know. I guess we'll wait on the draft to see what happens. The Saints, you never know. So, But sure as fuck, if y'all do win the division and make the playoffs, you're going to shit the bed as usual. These moves are going to be for nothing, and y'all know it. So, I had to go to the 
Yeah, moving forward, just think about what y'all say and, and realize what your team as a as a franchise really is before you get on social media and open your mouth or in this case get your type on i'm telling y'all I mean, y'all gonna look like fools at the end now as a falcon hater you know i i can't wish y'all the best you know but if y'all turn out and become and start dominating then hey power to y'all i'm not getting up here and says that y'all not gonna do anything i don't know what y'all gonna do you know you could disappoint I, which I kind of anticipate happening. You could, you could actually, you could actually get it right. Oh, and speaking of, uh, and I would definitely calm down with the uh, hype on Terry Fontenot because, you know, he is making the right moves. Y'all did the same thing with Thomas Dimitrov was there, and now y'all shitting on him. So just don't fall for fool's gold again. I'm trying to warn y'all, but y'all don't want to listen to me. Y'all just, you know, y'all just. Realize the fact that I'm just a Falcon hater and just, oh, it's just eight fish, it's just hating on the Falcons as usual. But a lot of times when I say stuff about your team, I've been ranked. And if you check, if you check my track record properly, you will know that. I'm not always right about your team. There's been times I've been wrong and, I've been, and I came up here and met why I was wrong. But a lot of times I've been correct and y'all know it. But anyways, I'm going to enjoy this beautiful weather because um, I don't know when it's going to be like this for a long time again. So y'all be easy. Until next time, a are signing out. Chauncey Gardner, good luck with the Detroit Lions, by the way. You know, it's a good pickup for the Lions. I don't know how it's going to encapsulate them. I'll be honest, Detroit Lions, in a way, and it's, not, it's no disrespect, but... They become like, to me, they become like the forgetting franchise in the NFL. So like, you think about most of these other teams, they always get lost in the shovel because like their franchise is so petrified as well. It's not like they done anything. I, I guess if Falcon fans want some leverage when it comes to, they must not like winning. I, I guess y'all, at least y'all went to the Super Bowl. The Lions have never done that, but like I said, let, let's not act like y'all. Let's not act like y'all got a lot of rings either because um, that trophy case looks rather fucking empty you better hug up you better hug those national titles and that world series title really good at nights because honest to god that's all you're gonna have because we already know what the hawks gonna do like either they do make the play in so i don't think they made the uh 16 playoffs we know what's gonna happen there georgia is gonna disappoint in baseball so is georgia tech uh, even if Georgia does make the, uh, the tournament in softball, they'll disappoint. It's about, I feel like y'all had a brief moment where y'all got some titles. And I feel like the, the, um, the I, I just feel like things about to change. I feel like things are about to get back to the way things were, you know, what we have normally seen from Atlanta sports team outside of the Braves. I feel like that's about to, um, I feel like things about to go back to the way they were, you know, they, you know, God gave y'all a pass, whatnot with the championships, but, and so you can, so sports like Nate Tucker finally see how it feels to win the championship on YouTube. And now that he is, I feel like it's, you know, things about to change now. Hey, at least you still got the Braves, so, y'all better hope to God that the Braves continue to earn this run. And you better, you, you better hope that Georgia, you better hope Curry Spark continues to recruit at an elite level and Georgia continues to be good because I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Because outside of that, what do y'all have? Oh, speaking of Georgia, I know Sports Line ATL made a video about Florida and wanted to and said something about he expect me to react. And he said something about, well, Georgia's won back to back national titles. What's Florida done? Spoken like a, a football only fan. It's a sport, sports like NATO. If you want to see what Florida has done, look up uh, national championships in all sports because Georgia's a football school. Florida's an everything school. We focus on all the sports here, even lacrosse, even though I don't really care for lacrosse, but we focus on all the sports. So you just focus on football in your, in your two national titles. We'll just continue to be an everything school. That's my response to that. So I'm out. So y'all holler, I'll holler at y'all later. Y'all be easy. Till next time, hey folks, signing out.